It's warmed up a little bit today, but the last few weeks of cold weather has meant ice has been forming rapidly on the Great Lakes. And while it's a pretty neat sight to see, you may not realize the sound the ice makes. Take a look at this video taken in Grand Haven. Lake Michigan's already 24% covered by the ice. That is nearly double what we had this time last year and uh, 20 times more than what we saw in 2016. As we head further into the winter, that number will likely keep increasing. But how much ice does it take for lake effect snow to shut down? Ellen Baca has a look at that for us tonight. And great technique. Who was that throwing yeah, that ice? I don't know, but I should get lessons. So when I'm <laughs> skipping stones, I can actually get more than just one before it splashes. That's a big question. How much ice does it take before we finally start to see the snow slow down? Because you have to have open water, and it has to be a big lake for you to see lake effect snow. One of the big things that we have to watch for first is fetch. And fetch is the length of winds and how it travels over open water. So lake effect must have 62 miles of open water as the wind flows over it, for lake effect snow to form. So here's an example. If we had a west wind and complete open water, no ice cover on the Great Lakes, we would have about 86 miles from Milwaukee to uh, right around the Holland area for that air to soak up some moisture. A northwest wind, right around 100 miles. And then if we had a north-northwest wind, that's when we usually get those really big snow events, three to 400 miles. Places like Buffalo, you need 250 miles there to dump some snow onto to that region and uh, again it's all about that wind direction so you can get that length over the lake and how much how much ice coverage is on the lake so here are some of those current ice levels now lake michigan 23.5 percent but lake erie 87.2 percent right now covered in ice and that is too much for you to see lake effect snow forming that means there's only 60 miles or less than 60 miles of open water there so that means the people in buffalo don't have to worry about lake effect here. We have to worry about lake effect for a while. That's good. They need the winter <laughs> to dig out after they get hit by these events. And they, they do. They really get slammed. They top the list, yeah. even more so than Muskegon and Holland and some of our snow belt areas. Absolutely. So ways to go here yet. Yeah, interesting stuff. Thank you, Ellen.